Hi guys, good afternoon. This is Noriel of I am a super user and today I will share to you a video on how you can reset your Windows password. So just in case you forgot your Windows password, so this video will show you how you can reset your Windows password using a Linux Live CD. So <coughs> we have a situation here. So we assume that you forget your password and you need to reset your password because you need to log into your account again of course because you have a lot of important files inside like your thesis your projects your business proposals presentations so some files like that so we will reset you need to reset your windows password for you to be able to log into your account again so this video will show you how to do that so we'll be using a Linux live CD so basically a live CD is a CD or a DVD that has a complete uh, operating operating system inside our running on that CD so we don't need to uh, install the operating system within your hard drive in your computer so we can run the entire uh, functional operating system live in our CD or DVD or in our USB flash drive so that's how and what live CD is so in this video I will be using the uh, Kubuntu live CD so I have here my Windows 7 <coughs> and of course I forgot my password so I can't log in and I have all my projects there inside I have all my business proposals my thesis actually so what should I do I forgot my password so we can reset actually our password using some command via command prompt so we need to uh, use the command prompt, the Windows command prompt, and issue some command to reset our uh, account password. But since we cannot access our account because we forgot our password, so there's no way that we can uh, uh, run the command prompt and then issue some command to reset our password. So that's how, uh, that's when our uh, live CD uh, will be useful for this uh, application or for this situation so you can see here ease of access so we have our accessibility options here so we have actually here our uh, on-screen keyboard so if we check this and click OK so an on-screen key, uh, keyboard will appear which actually you can use to type something okay so our target is to run the command prompt and issue the command needed to reset our Windows password so since we don't have any options here to run the command prompt so we cannot run, run the command prompt so we will be using our uh, Linux live CD to access the Windows uh, file system then let's change some things uh, uh, something or some files there for us to be able to run the command prompt using this ac uh, accessibility option or ease of access here so I will pause the video for a while and then load up my uh, Linux bootable US uh, CD the live CD and then boot my computer into that live CD so I'll be uh, posting this video for a while and then we will be right back okay so we're back and I have here my Kubuntu loading up so I just load up my Kubuntu live CD 
on my computer where my Windows 7 in, are installed is installed so we actually running the live CD installer so we have two options here the try Kubuntu and the install Kubuntu if we choose this option the install Kubuntu this will install the Kubuntu operating system in our hard drive but if we choose this try Kubuntu we will actually running the live CD <clears throat> so this is what we need for now to access and change some files in our Windows uh, operating system which is installed in our hard drive so running this uh, live CD won't affect any or any files in your hard drive unless you intend to do to do so but the live CD itself won't affect any files in your hard drive so we have the Kubuntu operating system here running live in our CD or DVD and then the command problem that we are talking about that we need to access for us to issue some commands to reset our Windows password is actually located in so as you can see here guys we are accessing the Windows uh, drive so this is the hard drive which the Windows 7 is installed so we have here the files the Windows files and we need to navigate or explore the Windows system 32 and we need to uh, change two files here the on-screen keyboard and the command prompt so first we do the on-screen keyboard so this is actually the on-screen keyboard the OSK so you can copy and create a backup first before uh, creating any changes here but for this uh, video I'll just continue uh, directly renaming this one so let's say old OSK so that is our on-screen keyboard next is our CMD or the command prompt so we'll change this CMD into OSK so why because uh, later when we go back in our Windows 7 when we run the osk.exe so the, uh, the actually the application that will load up will be the command prompt and that's it so that's all we need to change in our here in our system 32 Windows system 32 so again guys we are able to access all of these uh, Windows files using our uh, Linux Live CD unrestricted okay so we are done here in our Live CD so we have to reboot again our computer and then boot in our Windows 7 operating system so I will just uh, post this video again and we'll be back when our Windows 7 boot up okay so we're back again and we have already here our Windows 7 and of course we still can't log in because we didn't change our or reset our password yet but we do we did the we are done with the necessary steps for us to uh, change our Windows password so again we go back here in our ease of access and then click the on-screen keyboard and then click OK so a command prompt sh should show up and not the on-screen keyboard alright so we did it right so so we have here our uh, command prompt and like I said we just have to issue a command for uh, to reset our Windows password so this is it so first uh, let's see 
uh, who's are the users so we should the net user command to see the users uh, currently on who is the users that are currently registered on this machine or in this operating system in this Windows 7 so we have Windows 7 here the name so we have it here so to change our password we just have to issue a command need user then the username that you want the password to be changed or reset so for uh, in our case the, um, my username is Windows 7 so this is the <coughs> the username that I want to change the password so it, of course it might be different in your case so net user then let's issue the command we're actually resetting our uh, Windows password now net user space then the Windows 7 or the username so actually this is the pattern so net space user username that you want to reset the password and then just enter a password so we'll follow that format so windows 7 space then the password that you want so for example uh, I want the password one two three four five six. So what we are going to what we are doing now is we are resetting the password of Windows Seven into one two three four five six, and then hit enter. So it says the command completed successfully. So we should be able to log in in our Windows Seven account using this password. One, two, three, four, five, six. <coughs> and that's it. So we are, have successfully reset our password and able to log in, log in again to our account and steal our files and all the documents in the applications are still here in your account. So that's how you reset your Windows uh, forgotten Windows password using a Linux Live CD. So actually we have different methods but different ways on how we can reset our Windows password. But uh, as for me, this is my preferred uh, way. Okay, so remember not to forget your password. And if you do forget your password, just remember to get yourself a copy of any Linux live CD so that's all for now guys and I would like to thank you all for watching my videos and supporting my channels so I hope you continue to do supporting my videos and my channels and my blog so I hope you hit like and you can share my videos and of course you can subscribe so thank you for watching